Hi and welcome to your zero to three weeks postnatal um, cesarean recovery video. You might not be long home from the hospital and you might be feeling sore um, and obviously the huge emphasis um, that has been placed on your recovery from cesarean section is to rest and recover and allow all your tissues to heal. So as you know you have the effects of pregnancy which recover from um, and you also have the effects of cesarean which would be abdominal surgery um, and if you were going home from hospital after having abdominal surgery you wouldn't normally be handed a baby um, as well. So we need to really take that advice about rest seriously but at the same time a lot of rest can lead to you know tight shoulders, sore neck, you have you know stiffness to your back and also because you will be feeding your baby and hopefully keeping housework or any movement an absolute minimal it's important that we know how to move and that we don't forget how to move so we don't end up coming out of this zero to three week period sore and stiff. You may also have had some pelvic girdle dysfunction during your pregnancy or kind of any sort of back pain, neck pain or anything like that and we want to start a little bit of movement and um, to prevent that from becoming a problem. So all I want you to do a few days a week or every day if you can is press play on this video and we'll do a small little bit of movement okay again important for your circulation as well um, and important for your well-being especially if you're somebody who's very very active and you're dying to get back to exercise and this is a challenging time for you and um, because you're worried that maybe all that fitness you kept during your pregnancy um, is going to be wasted while you're recovering um, or if you have pelvic girl dysfunction you were dying for this period afterwards where you're taking your anti-inflammatories and you're starting to feel better that you really, really want to make sure that you're coming out of recovery and coming into your six week um, checkup feeling good and ready to move okay so we're just going to lie down and you can do this on your bed and just rest your head onto your pillow bring your hands onto your tummy okay and we're just going to do a little bit of pelvic tilting so you may have gotten a leaflet you may have met a physio in the hospital who showed you how to do pelvic tilting and all we're doing is just rolling back lifting your tailbone off the bed and rolling forwards creating a little arch in the lower back so roll back lifting your tailbone off the bed and roll forwards so this will be a little bit achy but we don't want it to be very painful so make sure that you're taking your painkillers that you're taking any that was prescribed from the hospital there's no real point um, in being a little bit uh, being a martyr if you're feeling sort of good and you'd love to get off those painkillers from my point of view as a physio when i meet people postnatally six eight weeks later people have recovered better if they did take prescribed just prescribed painkillers it doesn't mean you're going to becoming become addicted to them but i would always say just use them, uh, enjoy them. They'll take away any inflammation from any sore joints from your pregnancy and they'll help to allow you move a bit more naturally while you are healing. So rolling forwards and rolling back. So making sure it's nice and comfortable. You might only have the smallest bit of a roll but this is really good movement. You're doing this movement anyway when you're getting in and out of bed so you may as well um, practice that movement okay and just relax. Bring your heels and your knees together and just roll a little bit to the side so we're not putting any pressure on that scar you just want to make sure it's a nice gentle movement just mimicking what you're doing day to day so even though you have all this huge like emphasis on rest you're still moving it's still really important and um, for your circulation um, for your muscles for your tone and for your posture that you are moving a little bit so just rolling and gradually you'll find that you'll be able to roll a little bit more side to side so if this is your first week you might even just do five or six of these and take a little break um, and if it's your third to sixth week you might find that you're doing a little bit more okay so just resting there we're just going to bring the arms up pointing up towards the ceiling and we're going to breathe in and as we breathe out just dropping your arms back over your head that's it. Breathe in, semicircle your arms back to pointing towards the ceiling. Breathe out, drop your arms back over your head. Breathe in, semicircle to pointing up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, drop your arms back overhead. Breathe in, semicircle them. And breathe out, drop your arms back overhead. Breathe in. And you really notice that connection between your ribs and your tummy if you feel a little bit of pinch on the scar as you drop back. So again, only coming back to where you feel maybe a little less niggle, but hopefully you'll still be able to get that full range of movement back. Semi-circle back. One more, drop your arms back overhead and semi-circle back. Bring your hands onto your tummy and we're just going to work on our breathing. So all those weeks of pregnancy, particularly in those last maybe eight to ten weeks, you might have found that your baby was sort of sitting up against your ribs 
and that you're getting a bit more breathless um, and finding it harder even to do the simplest things like get up the stairs. You might have found yourself kind of breathing a little bit quicker and that's because the baby pushes up against your diaphragm. Your lungs have less capacity for those deep breaths um, and sometimes then we need to reteach ourselves how to breathe into the diaphragm. So now we're going to bring our hands onto the tummy and we're just going to do some gentle breathing. So as you breathe in, you're going to try to channel that breath right down to your diaphragm and your tummy is going to rise. So breathe in as your tummy rises and breathe out, let your tummy fall. Breathe in, feel your tummy rise and breathe out, let your tummy fall. So sometimes our instinct as we breathe in is to suck in after pregnancy. So really working on that breath in and tummy rising and breathe out. And again, when you have those stitches or when you have the scar healing there and um, you might be sort of afraid to move down to the bottom of your tummy but again breathing is a normal natural movement so we're not going to be afraid of that we're just going to breathe in feel your tummy rise and breathe out and even if you get a chance at any point to lie down during the day practice your breathing just getting that nice gentle breath into your tummy and breathe out it's really important for relaxation as well breathe in and breathe out breathe in again and breathe out good stuff okay now breathe in again and as you breathe out i want you just to switch on your pelvic floor so squeezing up through your back passage and your front passage and hold for one two three and release and you'll really notice that connection between your pelvic floor and your deep tummy muscles so if you've had a section one of the positive things is that your pelvic floor is intact so if you're somebody who had an emergency section and you're sort of beating yourself up a little bit about you know not having had your normal delivery I always like to remind people that really look your pelvic floor is intact you've saved yourself from the pelvic floor a lot of recovery through your tummy but you will recover it will take that six weeks it might take six to eight weeks it might take a little bit longer or it might bounce back really really quickly don't be worrying too much and um, you will recover your pelvic floor is intact but we need to switch on the pelvic floor and that'll give you that little connection between your pelvic floor and your deep tummy muscles so small gentle pelvic floor contraction and release so take a breath in right down to your tummy and breathe out and give that little gentle squeeze to your pelvic floor for three, two, one, and release it out. And it's a good opportunity to think about your pelvic floor. Do you feel your little squeeze? But also, do you feel the release? So you're looking out for that softening as you release. So breathe in, feel your tummy rise. And breathe out, squeezing up back passage, front passage, hold for three, two, one, and release for a whole five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in and breathe out pull up through your back passage front passage like you're stopping yourself and breaking wind stopping flow of urine three two one and release the whole lot out so when you're releasing just relaxing out through your bottom through your hips through your tummy just breathing as your tummy rises and falls breathe in and breathe out let's do one more breathe in and breathe out pull up 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 three two one and release for a whole five four three two one and release good stuff give your shoulders a nice roll really good okay reach your arms up breathe in and breathe out drop your arms overhead and come back to the center and that is really all the exertion we're going to do what we're going to run over now is you're getting out of bed so if you get a chance to do this video just before you get out of bed be nice timing because then we can do the rollover and sit up all together okay and another thing before that is if you feel like you need to cough or sneeze or if it's bad luck enough that you have a little bit of a cough at the moment make sure you use your pillow for that support okay so you can just push down on your pillow or a rolled up towel push it down against your scar and just take a breath in and do a little okay don't make yourself cough don't do this practice but just if you are having any trouble like that just pushing down through the scar okay so now we're going to get up and what we're going to make sure is that again we're not looking to use our tummy muscles yet we're looking to really recover so what we're going to do is just roll over onto your side so your whole body is coming over onto your side two strong arms that haven't been affected by your section two strong legs so if you can bring your legs over the side bring your top arm down push up through your arm and as soon as you can get your elbow underneath and you're pushing up through the arms through the arms your legs are swinging out over the side of the bed and up you come into your sitting position again it's not an exercise but when you go to lie down later on and hopefully you get a chance to lie down in the middle of the day always say after vaginal delivery after cesarean section try to lie down try to make it your business to lie down so you're really making rest 
part of your um, activity, part of your training program is your rest, make the most of it. So when you come to six week um, postnatal, that you're kind of hitting the ground running, rather than still carrying around niggles from doing a little bit too much in those early weeks. So when you go to lie down into your bed, same thing, use that upper arm, bring it down, lower yourself slowly, get that elbow involved, bring yourself down, bend up your knees, and then use your knees to roll yourself around and come onto your back. Okay, so rolling over on your side, top arm coming into business, swinging those legs around, push up and sit up. And then the other thing that's really important to mind is your feeding position. So whether you're bottle feeding or breastfeeding, that you're nice and supported. So one of the common things you can see is that baby's feeding, baby's latched on, or baby is doing whatever she or he is going to be doing, and you just kind of freeze and stay in that position because you're so glad that your baby latched on, or you're so glad that the feed is going well. You don't want to disrupt it, but just try and spend that extra little bit of time getting your pillows raised so your baby's there, your boob is there, and you're nice and relax. Even when you're feeding, giving your shoulders a little bit of a roll backwards, a little bit of a roll forwards, maybe just bringing your ear down to your shoulder and getting a small little glide and then over to the other side, reaching forwards between your shoulder blades, getting a nice little stretch. Reach up nice and tall through your arms, drop one arm down and get a little side bend to the side and a little side bend to the other side. Perfect. Okay, so not a whole lot more for these few weeks. Loads and loads of rest and recovery and going for your gentle, gentle walks when you can. And even now, zero, three weeks, don't worry about it. I would say even wait a whole two weeks before you think about going for a walk bar what you're doing around the house. So I hope you enjoyed that video and um, you'll get sick of me, uh, hopefully, if you're doing the video a lot, but I'll see you back here then for week three to five.